Okay, I'm Carmen Colangelo, and I'm an artist and uh, primarily a printmaker. The idea of this particular series of prints was inspired by the number of storm patterns and extreme storm patterns that we've been experiencing here in St. Louis. The prints were made at Flying Horse Editions in Florida. Theo Lotz, who's the director, invited me in to sort of explore this big hydraulic press that they had using this old technology but combining it with some new technology because I always like to push the envelope in terms of what printmaking really is. Since I'm in a college of architecture, I'm often exposed to the model making and the kind of tools that they're using. And I see a lot of discarded material when they're making models that's made from rapid prototyping and laser cutting. And I saw a lot of potential for this discarded material uh, to not only be a good matrix for prints, but also because they are cut out for models to describe architecture anyway or to represent it putting them into a print format allowed them to really represent our urban condition in a way or urban space. I use that as my iconography for form uh, structure for these prints which are largely landscape based prints but I knew that on a hydraulic press they would create really interesting embossment and really unique patterns because the two things aren't usually used together. But I knew from my printmaking background that I could make that work with more traditional processes like intaglio printmaking and relief printmaking, but then also combine digital printmaking with it. What I've really done is try to push into these images the structure and then somehow try to negate it or to disrupt it, to create combustion. And names of hurricanes are named female and male names and alternating years. And so what I did was I took a male and a female name and I created typography for it and then I distorted it on the computer to make a kind of calligraphy. So the name is there but it's not very legible but it creates a linear calligraphic line that gives it this energy and this kind of space. All of that is combined with looking at maps of globes but old maps from chromolithographs. Uh, then that sort of uh, becomes one of the elements that gives you a little more information about that this is also related to the way that we map storms or that we think about them within a larger global uh, sense. There's eight prints in the series. Uh, four of them look like the event of the storm. Four of them are more minimal and they're the shards that are left over from the storm. The idea is that there's a before and an after and storms are actually in some ways you know, very beautiful in their severity but then what's left after the storm is also kind of beautiful just from the standpoint of looking at it photographically, but the reality of it is, as we know, is, uh, is, is not so pretty.